everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Have you ever been frustrated trying to find some really good sounding dry acoustic drum samples and loops? It's been my case for so many years. I feel like most drum VSTi are targeted toward metalheads or classic rock or hip hop or EDM. Well, I saw an ad on Facebook for a new drum library called Dead Volume 2 Click Play and I fell in love. So I want to show you what these guys are doing in this video. If you like that kind of content, click the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And before we dive in, let's hear about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great synth sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. So the company is called Circles Drum Samples and they were nice enough to send me some of their libraries. I sent them an email because I liked what they were doing too much and I wanted to share the love on my YouTube channel. So I can show you guys um, now those libraries comes with a bunch of loops that you can use that sounds amazing with a, a bunch of preset as well from Ableton Live, Battery 4, Contact, Logic, Machine, Trigger from uh, Slate. So I have Trigger 2 and I use it often to beef up some of my drum recordings. So that's good that they added those presets. And obviously it comes with all of the samples um, going from cymbals, kick, uh, other one shot, uh, percussion, snares, toms, and more. So it is really, really uh, cool. It's filled with so many jams. Uh, let's listen to a couple of loops uh, from the Dead Volume 1 library first, and then I'm gonna show you, I'm not a great finger drummer, but I did a, a really simple beat just to give you an idea of what you can do just with the samples themselves. So let's listen to a couple of beats. Now what's amazing about this is most of the time when you buy drum samples, they either sound dry but quite bad so you have to do a lot of processing to make them sound good or they sound too processed and it's impossible to make them fit in the mix. These are dry but they sound amazing. Uh, I really like it. And just to give you an idea, I just put a distressor, just a compressor on the master and I pump the compression with slow attack to let the transient come in and quite fast uh, release just to give you an idea just with compression how they sound like now They all sound amazing just with compression. And that for me is mind blowing. Uh, usually I always have to add some EQs, some reverbs, a bunch of stuff, but these drum loops are amazing. Uh, just for fun, let's put the attack to super fast and release to super fast just to see if we can uh, pump up some of that natural room sound. There's not a lot of room obviously because these are dead uh, drum samples, but let's see how it sounds like. Again, wow, I'm in love, guys. Um, so just to give you an idea, I did, a, as I said, I'm not a good finger drummer, but I did a little beat, a simple beat, just to show you how it sounds like with some samples. 
So let's listen to it. So without the distressor first. Now with. Wow, that was super easy. And the, the beautiful thing is that all the sounds that you heard in those loops are included in the sample. So they're all there as one shot. So if we look at the kicks, for example, we have Billy kick, bit kick. We have a bunch of different types of kicks and they all comes with three variation of 10 velocities. So you can make them sound natural super easily because they included a bunch of velocities and variations. So there's not gonna be any machine gun. Yeah, obviously the snares are there as well. They sound amazing. Same principle, they have a bunch of different snare sounds. So let's listen to a couple of them. Again, 10 velocities with three variations per velocity. I love that. They also have some snare sounds with ringtones, so that's always appreciated. It's not only super dry uh, drum sounds, so that's good. These are fat sounding snare sounds. I love that. So snare with the tambourine. Now let's listen to some loops that comes with the volume two, the new one that just came out. So same principle. These are mostly dead drum sounds. That sounds super good, dry, but they added even more content. So let's listen to a couple of loops first without the distressor. Now, if you're trying to get that Radiohead uh, drum sound from In Rainbows, where it sounds dry, but it sounds super good, this is the closest thing I could find. Now, let's move on. Amazing, and once again, I used the same beat, but I used some samples from the Dead Volume 2, so let's listen to what I did. As before, same cheap beat that I made myself, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. Let's listen to it with Distressor. Now let's move to the Dirt Library. Uh, these are really creative and different type of drum samples and loops. So let's listen to a couple of them. I love the spring reverb on it. It sounds vintage, but it sounds great. I love that kind of stuff. That reminds me of Led Zeppelin, so that's always good. So again, all of these uh, samples are included in the one shots. So it is really, really cool what you can do. Let's listen to a couple of snare sounds just for fun. Some kicks. I love that spring reverb. So now let's listen to a couple of loops from the low library. These are basically lo-fied. Um, they have a lot of effect like um, tape slow down type of thing. So it pitches down the drum. Now, I'm hearing some trip up track with that uh, loop right there. Uh, just to give you an idea, at the time of recording of this video, they have a summer sale, so they have crazy deals right now on their website. Um, and you have a bunch of combination of libraries, they have bundles. So right now, as you see, this bundle is $90. Uh, it includes four libraries, it includes Dirt, Load, Tape and Bash. 
Uh, all the dead libraries are also in the bundle. They're $60 right now at the time of recording of this video. They also did a bunch of outdoor recordings, some in the desert, so these are really creative. Uh, they also have other outdoor recordings like Buffalo and uh, Sequoia. So uh, they have a video of how they made this and it's quite interesting. They really went in the desert, as you can see in this picture. And these sound amazing as well. I'm, I'm kind of blown away by the quality of these uh, drum libraries. So take a look at their website in the link in the description if you like that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for watching and as usual, see you in my next video. Bye guys.